for this podcast, we're proud to partner with Zurich Life and Investments. As one of the last true independent life insurers, Zurich has always believed in the value of advice and the professionals who provide it. They continue to invest in programs such as this one that are designed to strengthen the health and reputation of the advice profession. They're excited about the chance to partner with us, XY Advisor, to help shape the future direction of advice and help make it more accessible to more Australians. To find out more or to check out some of the latest advisor support tools visit the website or ask your zurich bdm g'day g'day how's it going what do you know oh, don't Strike. do it oh, oh, that is really sad to annoy me he did it anyone else seen the last Dang, hundred that. episodes like gotta know about that <laughs> he did hang it on, hang on, hang on. Did Ooh, we need to do the proper start <laughs> yes. Next to the best. Yes. Oh, so good. This podcast is brought to you by Midwinter. <laughs> Damn so is, uh, the best part of that was if you don't have Midwinter, look at yourself in the mirror. <laughs> I, still, I still recommend doing that. <laughs> nice. nice. What's happening, yo? Uh, just uh just doing just a, a ton doing a podcast. Just a ton. Yeah. What's this is our most casual podcast in a while. These seats. It's also the most exciting one, being the one hundredth. Yes, yes, correct, Amondo. Um, it's wild. And how far we've come from the days of blab. I am. <laughs> Was it dot uh, I am or I O or something weird? <laughs> Those like are the best uh, ones. When we actually blab. had, we didn't even have like financial advice. We had like guys that we told that were. Was on, and then you'd have randoms just jump in because Blab was just this. Blab was an text, online yeah. community where anyone could join, and did, and did. <laughs> and if that doesn't say X Y advisor, then I don't know what does. <laughs> true, <laughs> true. We ah, oh, the funny. It was so funny when we were learning about it. Like we're like, what is this thing? And we'd be on there, and then we'd have Remember randoms that, just pop in and going, guy, "You guys are retarded." Who like I was talking to, but there's that guy came in, and like I couldn't get the sound to work. And I think it was was it you, Patty? And you had your shirt off, and then no, it was I, like, I, he no. just kept talking. And then I was like, I can't hear this guy. And then I'm like, oh, it's the many there. iterations oh. of the podcast. <laughs> yeah. And then it, and then it just turned out I had mute on on my computer <laughs> <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> the tech future, right here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How far you've come, though? That's pretty exciting. Yeah, look, yeah, uh, we're we're in here in King Sound Studio. Been rocking these for like the last forty odd, I think. Yeah, every time I come in, there's like a whole new layer of coolness mm. oh, like different type of pods go say the switch lamp. pods are it's one like of the a best. eucalypt it's like a eucalyptus tree oh, big congratulations yeah. guys what a milestone well nay there's a reason that you're here and uh what we'd like to do is pull apart the uh pull aside the curtain for your hundred million dollars powerball Yay! win last night Yay! <laughs> oh, good. I can. Uh, <laughs> I don't have to worry about uh, getting pre approval for a mortgage now, do I? Well Thanks, guys. Thank no, you. actually, the Royal Commission yeah. will still make that difficult. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you I'm have gonna... too much money to put in yeah. a mortgage. Well, I definitely need a financial advisor then, won't I? Yeah. <laughs> I think there might be a few people listening that might be able to help you out with that. No. With, that with, with that $100 million. Yes. yes. Boom. When was the, when was the first one? What what year was that? How long ago was 2016. that? 2016. Yeah, it probably would have been. Hey, 2016. was it 2016? Who was the very yeah. first one? Yeah, this that was uh, the actual. Lee Shadell, I think, or Peter Diamantidis. No, yeah. no, 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 no. It was a we two. had Lee, and it? Lee's audio because we were such yeah. rookies was was so bad that I think uh, it was like you could only understand half of it. Yeah, it's kept that on. She was at the airport or something. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was saying to Joe before. <laughs> yeah, it kept cutting out. Yeah. That's right from memory. <laughs> it only took so about a year to figure um, that one Zoom out. Or whatever. No, we but kept on having people at different locations. Literally, the the first podcast here at XY are now on record. Is Brent and Tong? Brent and oh, Tong. That's right. Brent and Tong. Yeah, you're right. Number I one. remember that. And, and it yeah. cuts out. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, think I remember writing the blog for that one, actually. <laughs> and you're like, cheers, guys. Yeah. <laughs> what Brad, happened in that part? <laughs> I need to transcript it. <laughs> Brad Fox in sixth place. Oh, oh there you go. Yeah. Grossy's in there, isn't she? Uh, Where's uh, Catherine? Well, Gross was, the most, Gilbert. Gross was the most listened to for a long time. Catherine Gross, number Catherine three. Gross. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, a great yeah. podcast. Yes. Uh, then we go on to Kath Cairns, mm. starting a business from scratch. Fred Evans. Everybody. Amazing. Goes without uh, any introductions. Mind you, we are looking Stuart at Bell. the YouTube Stuart rankings. Bell. Yeah. 
No, no, no. It's not the ranking. It's this the, is the it's, list, it's, mate. It's the listing. The, oh, num- the, the number order. next to it is actually oh, text that's, that's editable, that's and it was put there by us. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> How's this one? Number sixteen, <laughs> Alex Vikovic. You. Oh, yeah. Your money. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very Just exciting. Congratulations, off. Alex. If you're yeah, yeah. Congratulations, Whoop. Alex. Well done. What, a, what an absolute legend. Yeah. So, a uh, combination between Channel 9 and Sky. Sky yes, and I think, well, Fairfax, right? Because is Channel that 9 as well? and Fairfax is, have yeah, merged. That's right. yep. Have they? Yep. There you go. Yeah. They got My swallowed up. Goodness. Yeah. Who got swallowed? I think Fairfax bought nine. Yeah. Fairfax bought nine. Oh, neither of them were worth much. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, disclaimer right there that that's a personal opinion. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, they're worth, there's a, there's a price. There's definitely, they're worth, they're worth a Yeah, their market cap price. is an amount of money that you could never dream of. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one big number. Like, at what point do numbers stop become, like, it's... 100 mil. Like, if, 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 you, like, if you had $100 million and then you got $110 million... Do you even care? Yes. Do you know why? Because you could give me ten million and then have. Well, that's an extra ten million. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've already won the Powerball. What am I talking about? <laughs> Greedy. <laughs> why? Because, uh, well, because um, you have an extra ten million. That's the measurement. Right? Yeah, that, that's, that's a pretty point. rational Thank argument. Thank you. Actually. Thank you. That's what makes me a good financial planner. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, more yeah. Is better. Mm. Are you yeah. are you a financial planner? <laughs> I have been a financial planner. Uh, that's right. So who else have we had? We got uh, Sue Sue Viscovich, number eighteen. Oh, lovely Sue. Yeah, one. yeah. That was one of the more popular. And she had one hundred and seventy-seven views way back when everyone else was about one hundred ish, eighty ish. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, YouTube is only getting ten percent. Of all overall views, I if not less. But at that time, yeah. it was a hundred percent because we Touché. were so rookie that uh, we so were yeah, like, "Oh, we right. should record this." Yeah, yeah, we're like, yeah. Oh, we're interviewing these we people. The chats are like semi decent between the shitty internet and um, Adrian coming on halfway through with his shirt off. That we should <laughs> we should start recording these. And um, <laughs> that have to be, I haven't come that far actually. <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing a shirt today. Come on, lads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I love a jacket. <laughs> And a lovely jacket. Yeah, Banning Adrian from dressed, Facebook actually. Live was a good step in there. <laughs> that was the probably my most direction. exciting part of the XY Advisor journey. <laughs> was, was, was Adrian not having a shirt on? And then Adrian getting banned from XY Live. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook, 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 Facebook Live. Facebook, Facebook Live. Live. I, I, yeah. I correct myself. Uh, <laughs> when, he, when, when, yeah. he, when he gets cut at some uh, event <laughs> and, there's, and he's trying to impress, I swear, some girl next to him. He's like, ah, look at Facebook Live. Yeah. Yeah. Family, meeting, family meeting. Family <laughs> meeting. <laughs> He's gone. You know, He's XY gone. Advisor He's is gone. a community at the end of the day, and That's, I think Adrian, yeah. in his defense, is, is just trying to community. galvanize. Um, well, I just, I just feel like everyone's just sharing. You know, it's like, when people try to make money by buying so. Bitcoin. It's like just misguided and uh, you know uh, ineffective. I, w- I would say, if, if anything, uh, I would from, say from a brand- <laughs> it's highly effective. <laughs> from a branding perspective, uh, you you show yourself to be very authentic. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so as a branding expert, I would say, you know. So, so, some some, some may say it was a bad move, but at least we knew who the real you is. And well, that's yeah, something. you can't change from this either. With, yeah. 100 no podca- with 100 podcasts side. out there, yeah. there's not much you could really do from a branding perspective. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's pretty solidified. In and, and, what, and what an awesome brand, may I say. Yeah. Well, that was uh, a good dissemination of information. Yeah, that's right. Uh, <laughs> With the, with, 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 no, <laughs> with no doubt, and legitimately, it's amazing to have you here for number one hundred because you played a big role in that name. Cheers! So cheers. Thank, Thank you. you cheers. Very Thank much. you. Cheers! And yes. um and 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 I'm ex- incredibly proud of where you guys have come. Um, uh, I can remember when that little Facebook group started, or actually yeah. the day it became a idea in everyone's head. Actually, yeah. um, close group with the five of us in it. Yeah, that's it. Is anyone Post else going to speak to anyone else on this? It was so weird, and that we came up with. We have to post once a, once a week, or, once a week, and we had a, you know, a each of us, time we had a table. To no, well, see. before that, wasn't it actually a spot for us? So it was kind of like rather than sending emails to each other, we'll just create the Facebook group. group. Yes. and it, as yeah. a closed group, we will start to talk. And, and we then started we to add like, people. Should we invite people yeah. in? Yeah. <laughs> the earliest, the earliest days. Yeah, we've got this. He- actually, at different points, we've had crazy um, joining. Remember, at one stage, you had to click off Facebook. 
Oh, yeah, go to the website. Go to the so website, fill out US. heaps of questions, yeah. then come back to we, Facebook. We, we had quite a intense uh, process. Who would have came up with that? that <laughs> There's a lot of good discussion around how to well, onboard yeah. people. <laughs> <laughs> the, the onboarding process to the community. And now and now the community is helping grow itself and, and is like – and what, a, what an awesome thing yeah. um, to have where, uh, where I guess it's where that ultimate peer-to-peer – um, yeah, engagement comes into play because uh, we are, as as individuals across the world, um, always more inclined to believe a friend or mm. to go to a friend for a referral Definitely. or for advice. Mm. And I think what you guys have done for the financial advice industry is provide a platform and a community for friends to go to each other and yeah. ask for genuine advice. Well, until Clay told me that I'm not allowed to ask any more insurance questions on the group. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, look, and, and, and as, as the group grows, there's always going to have to be a couple of uh, providers it happens. in place. But, it's, it's, Clay, it's yeah. so annoying calling around the insurers to find that information. Like, it's so much easier just asking everyone. No, no, the, the, the insurers <laughs> don't tell you. You have to get it from advisors. That's what I think that's why XY Advisor works. Like, it's you've got, yeah. to, you've got to get it from the source. And it's, uh, well, that's yeah, it. You, tr- you, 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 you trust. Trust your friends, right? Or you trust mm. your peers. Yeah. Um, you trust people that have done it before. That's yeah. it. Well, well, they've got, no, they got no skin in telling you the wrong thing, right? It's just like... But the, but the, the big difference between, say, asking a, a specific insurance question and asking other questions or asking a specific any product question, it's that the questions have to be yeah, valuable yeah, for yeah, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say you've got a 37-year-old Can you, Are you getting an insight into how the internal meetings were <laughs> in the early days? There's a, there's a, oh, they still for everyone out there, there's always a devil's advocate, no matter what the That's topic. Oh, I, I, yeah. <laughs> I think I think there's use in making sure that that the the content is valuable. But um, whatever you've done uh, and whatever rules you made along the way, obviously it's worked. So, um, oh, hats off to uh, yeah. Clay Emily. Daniel. I know that he uh, does not like the spotlight, but no. as someone Emily, that, as someone that hates Facebook, um, <laughs> I think it's amazing to to just see a place where people. They know now people have been trained to not sell because that mm. shit is yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it's it's like yeah. I just I just uh, moved my office to WeWork and they've got like a Facebook feed thing. Like they've got like an app thing and there's like you can chat and it's basically like a Facebook feed. And immediately there's people in there just like selling, just soliciting, plugging crap. Yeah. And yeah. it's and, like there's no value in that. Well, like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. As, yeah. A, as a Everyone product provider that. myself, yes. um, uh, and and if you're a product provider listening, um. Uh, I think uh, you know if you're at the stage where the only place that you can solic- like ask for business is in a solicit, solicit I was going to say um, is in a in a closed Facebook group, uh, a peer to peer Facebook group, then something's not right. That's yeah. that's not your yeah. place. Um, your place is to be providing value, and in in the end, um, uh, I think I think most most of the community has that right anyway. But I feel like yeah. the pool must be so hard because it's a funny thing with the Facebook group that there was like all these awesome, awesome, awesome people, but they still like, you know, it's a lot of people just tried it on. Just like yeah. once or twice, once or twice. Well, M, uh, so, sorry, um, <laughs> Nate, you were there for that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. And, 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 and then we weren't prepared for, uh, you know, especially my view on life is very much free speech. And uh, and then a lot of people walk into groups with that same yeah. uh, same view. But then, if you get a thousand or multiple thousand people together, who all view free speech as a major uh, right to have, then you just have chaos. Absolutely. And then so an online because online is different to face to face in online world you actually do need some form of curation mm. otherwise it's just chaos yeah and, uh, oh, yeah oh, and, and on top, on top of so that bad. i think um what what made this particular group stand out um was that it was a sacred place for advisors to come to talk to each other honestly yeah. about things um, you can sell whatever you want on your own profiles, on your own pages, on yeah. in whatever other distribution pipeline that you have developed. Um, but in order for that place to stay attractive, that sacred place to stay sacred, uh, advisors need to trust it. And for them to trust it, they need to know that they can go in there without 
um, being sold to the minute they ask a question. Yeah, we, we're putting together the latest partnership packages at the moment. And uh, during that time, I've looked at and it's the things that I would never knew. You can actually look at a year of statistics. And so I, I was going through- On looking, Facebook. Yeah. I was looking at a year of statistics. So around po- posting comments was about almost 40,000. Wow. Posting comments. That's yeah, insane. That's, yeah, that's crazy, right? Um, and 75% of the group is either a self-employed advisor, an employed advisor, a power planner or a support staff. There you go. Wow. And, that, right? and that's wow. what or the group is Or aspiring advisor. Or aspiring advisor, support staff. Yes. So, And then you've got less than 25% of the group is then a product provider, accountant, mortgage broker, mm-hmm. education, um, coach, coach, yeah. So those those people actually can, uh, can come on and provide a lot of value. Mm. Absolutely, and, yeah. but that's and, and, that, and that's yeah. what they're yeah. there for, which yeah, is yeah. awesome. Yeah. 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 And, so and well. I'm speaking so well. from from the perspective of being one of them, obviously. Yes. So yes, obviously, I'm not I'm not here chiding them. I'm one of you. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, you know, with with a million places. Um, to sell, it's good to actually have a place where you don't have the pressure to do that. Yeah, you know? so, there's that as well. And and just actually, uh, as a product provider, to view the problems that are, the pain points that advisors are facing. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of intel that you can learn from that without mm-hmm. actually having to. And if you see yeah. people exceed and excel, I should say, it gives you permission within yourself to not feel. What's that? Um, everyone has it. Uh, Shame. No. <laughs> Hi Ever, Ben, that's, that's very has unique. It. That's oh, very sure. unique to you, and I, I don't want to go into the psycho what are you analysis. Talking about? I'm like, why are you what went do you straight mean? to shame? shame? Uh, I, don't, I don't know that emotion. That's great. Uh, imposter syndrome. Yeah, imposter. imposter syndrome. Syndrome. Everyone has yeah, an imposter syndrome, yeah. and if you're watching people succeed on a group, and then you, it gives you permission as well to succeed. So Dylan Martin, for example, just purchased. Oh, man, man. So so he's come through, and he has legitimately done. He's gone from a succession plan to owner. So the boss man. To the boss man. man. That's awesome. Shout out to Dylan. He was the the first first guy on the hill. He's the the first guy dancing, you know, like with the next white boss. Absolutely. I'm pretty sure he must have lived in the group. This is what happens before you become a business owner. So he'd probably (laughs) probably be a little bit quieter on the Facebook group now. But man, like they're all the Awesome questions and and properly milked milked the the intelligence, like the collective intelligence of the group. And and shared back. Like he's he's taken a lot of – yeah, like and, and he's shared everything that he's learned back. He's put stuff together and like, yeah, that's what it's all and about. And I think like obviously Clay struggles with this, but I think it's like you put yourself in a position where you help people, help people, help people, and then you just don't feel bad about asking people for things. Like you just you can just <laughs> ask for stuff, and people just people want to help people as yeah. well because people. Joseph Goebbels like, like to only knows how to them. tell. <laughs> <laughs> so that, so and Dylan's great at that. He's just like man, like I need this thing, and I yeah. do the same thing. Can't do the insurance questions inside the Facebook group anymore. Not that I'm, not that I'm bitter about that, but um, you know, I, feel I have like, no I, issue. I feel like we need a separate people. therapy session about this. <laughs> hey, another Facebook group for it now. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's, it's called Shamed <laughs> Financial <laughs> Planners, and, and you can express your emotions on it in that group. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's um, you know, D- Dylan was there the, uh, the early days, just like every day, just just uh, smashing it, and, yeah, and so active and stuff, and. I think it's amazing. Like I, um, as I say, I'm not a massive social media person, but I know like I've met a bunch of cool people that I've interacted with through the group, like Grant Miller and like we were like, you know, bantering on posts and stuff for like almost a year, I think. And then I met him at, at an event and it was like super weird. It was like, this, He's my I internet like, friend. Like, yeah, my internet, <laughs> I feel like a fourteen-year-old little Bieber fan or something. Like, um, How funny if he yeah. catfished you and he's like, "Hey, <laughs> <laughs> some old lady named Cheryl from like Oklahoma." Or Have you something. seen like? <laughs> How do you still know love what that me, don't you, Ben? You still like, love me. <laughs> it's it me, cool. Grant. <laughs> <laughs> Yang was thrilled. <laughs> she wasn't there. That's my time. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's mad, and I think that there's um, you know a, bu- a bunch of people out there that are you know building those relationships there, and I think it's such a good thing to see. I think in the you know in the how long's the Facebook group been going? 
almost two years, I suppose. Yeah. Well, must, must be. Nearly two yeah. years. Yeah. I think it was about January 2017 yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. that we were having. Well. But, but so that like, also, like the Dylans of the world, like the, the awesome thing about that is there's the, that that's a multiplier thing, right? Because like all of his questions live in the search function, right? So like you literally have an audit trail of someone becoming a business owner in the Facebook group and mm. all of that intellect sits there. Yeah. Well, so if Adrian Patty has his way, that, that'll all be in searchable format. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm sure there's yeah. a, I'm sure there's a different of way to make that happen. But in exactly. the meanwhile, we'll probably just use the search, search function. Yeah, Patty's looking at those 40,000 comments and posts yeah. and he's just like drooling. <laughs> that that is is the I, I would love to make. so shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Facebook function does not work well. But I suppose, like, what Here I'm saying are. is that, like, you know, a year and a half, and it's not been the easiest time in in, no. in that time. You know, a lot of uh, struggles in the industry, both in terms of perception mm. and for advice businesses, Lyft has come through. Um, Fazia. Yeah, the, the, Fazia. All, yeah, that nonsense. Um, the Royal Commission, all that stuff. And I, I just think it's so amazing to see a community. I think I've been saying for years that it's a two-speed industry. You know, I see people oh, man. Are struggling, complaining, and resisting change. And then you you got the you know pretty much the X Y community that are just yeah pretty much and just accelerating um, future of the industry, mm. succeeding like kicking goals, building ripping businesses. Yeah, uh, and I think that's sort of why you know like people. No one. What there's there's places where you can go and have the bitch fest and do the things and that's happening all, all over the place. Right, yeah, you know, for the people that want to engage in that. But then um, I think for the for the other group, it's like people are sick of hearing that crap and they just want to get on with business. Yeah, let's yeah. help people. When, let's when, make, let's be successful. Let's make some money. Um, when and- M went on holidays and she wasn't monitoring the group as much as she does, uh, and then a couple of complaints turned up, and and. And our inbox and and uh, private messaging was uh, flooded with just people. Say, I'm ready. It just said. It just said. <laughs> it was ready, just ready, flooded. It was flooded with people saying like, "Oh no, I really hope this doesn't turn into a bitch fest as well." And uh, you know, wow. yeah, that's how much like, it's yeah, so no hard. Holidays, yeah. <laughs> In other words, <laughs> um, no, I think I think uh, amidst all the negativity. Uh, people are looking for a bit of a beacon of light. Totally. Um, especially, uh, like you said, there's all these XY, XY advisors that are smashing goals. Um, they perhaps may or may not have suffered some brand damage because of things that were completely, not even just completely out of their control, but uh, completely out of their generation. Um, yeah. So, uh, and the fact that you can rise above that and have a positive place to go to talk, to just talk about shit and get shit done yeah i think um i think yeah. that makes and not feel fun. guilty about the having the, su- the success mm. or like no, that's trying it. to re- you know um embrace the change instead yeah. of resisting it like well what, i guess one of the the challenges then is and we'll, i was talking about this i was at a at a uh, like a product product thing uh it was an mc and sachi uh guy and he was talking Tricky about jigsaw yeah 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 ben cooper legend yeah. uh and he was really talking good about shoes <laughs> I don't know that under the table. I didn't see that. Um, but he he was talking about the, the how expensive the it is to, to build a brand that differentiates. So, like, if you're an advisor and you do mad stuff and you you you're Dylan Martin of the world, how does how does like mum and dad, an average mum and dad, sort of who who are keen to understand financial advice relative to this? So, how do they go in and say, all right, well, there's Dylan Martins of the world, and then how do they know what questions to ask that differentiates? Yeah. It's so hard, man. Someone this is what I struggle. Clean. This is what I struggle with every day, right? Yeah. Like in our business, it's we've got an intense process. It's like you know, like extremely like um, I, I would say thorough and like longer than most and more detailed than mm. most. And it's like it's more expensive than most. Like I, yeah. I charge more for the for the demographic that I work with and the things that I do than anyone else that I know. Mm. But I, well, arrogant. Well, slightly arrogantly, I, I sort of think it's, it's better than the things that I've seen in terms of the results of yeah. the year. And yeah. I, I think like, and, and and the feedback that I get from the people I work with as well. But it's so hard from the outside that people go, oh, I want financial advice. Yeah. And they're going, well, old mate on the street saying, it's 9 He can do it for 250 yeah. yeah, and I'm going well. well you're, all, you're all called the and same you're thing. Your your talk a similar same. story, yeah, a and, thing. and well, this you, is what we're get, talking about. You get about. what you pay for, I think, across most things. But yeah. it's, I think for I well, think maybe you, you know just don't have you're efficiencies, a, you're Ben. In, you're in, <laughs> maybe well, you just don't have a, efficiencies. Like for example, do you use Midwinter? 
Well, I, actually, I've <laughs> I have told the midwinter uh, team that I'm ready to change. Well, there we go. Uh, for like <laughs> six can, months and saying I'm ready now. Can you please you set me up? I'm still, I'm still like waiting. I'm still waiting. The anti sellers of the I world. This, I saw this Camino presentation. I'm like, hey guys, I'm in. Sign me up. They worked out. Who, six they worked ago. out their target well, market. Going who their this? ideal clients are, and you're not one of them. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, your emails are actually flagged for spam. Yeah, <laughs> they don't even reach Possibly. the inbox. You know those so clients know. that just oh, ask no. for so much. <laughs> like, yeah, those I'm ones? the most demanding. Naomi, <laughs> Naomi's got the inside, mate. He, <laughs> she actually went in and put the instruction herself. Filter. Oh, we then that. We would you be spam. happy to have Ben on at any time. <laughs> Is that right? Absolutely. You're taking on new but I, Absolutely. I, I genuinely <laughs> reckon <laughs> that's that's it's the been next. It's a busy period for us. Cut us some slack. <laughs> Cut us some too slack. Busy to, Cut us some too slack. Busy to get on new clients, right? <laughs> I wish I had that problem. Yeah, I, I kind of think that's the the next kind of thing for the XY community. Is how do you yeah, like? Okay. Midway, absolutely. <laughs> I feel like that's yeah, where we branch yeah. from, yeah. actually. <laughs> First ever sponsor. Yeah, look, uh, yeah. And, and from Midwinter's perspective, I think um, I can share. Can I share a little story? Absolutely. Is that no. okay? I don't want to. No. No. Actually, no, you're right. So what I was oh, thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> just on that other thing that we were talking about before that they actually started telling the story. No, no, no. Um, I, I think I remember you guys approaching us. Very early on, like 2015. Oh, wow. Um, uh, and he didn't even approach me at this point. I, I had seen Clay a couple times in the office. That's yes. The only, that's the only way I knew Clayton. Uh, I may have seen Adrian once or twice. Unfortunately. Um, oh, look. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Always good times. Always good times. Um, and you approached one of our BDMs and said, hey, we're putting on this conference. Um, ah, nobody yes. knows who we are yet, but yeah. we, we know it's going to – be something we don't know what it's going to be but it's going to be something and um and obviously every every bit of sponsorship comes through me yes uh so that came to me and i was like who are these people (laughs) (laughs) was the initial thought right and then julian sat me down and said um shout out to julian if you're listening um hey jules hey jules julian Uh, he's like no this is this is gonna be amazing. Oh, he's, and it, this he's like what? These, I always knew that bloke was smart. I'm not, yeah. it's not, <laughs> Still waiting for my he, he knows how to pick Julian. talented people. Look what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Um, he said this. Uh, this is what the industry needs. Um, these guys have got their you know finger on the pulse. This is awesome. We're doing this. We're wow. doing this, Amy. We're doing this. Um, uh, trust me. He said, trust me. I said, okay. Um, and you know, we. Plus, we, I've got the money. That, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Plus, at the end, it comes down to me. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah um, uh, trust me, uh, this is going to be great. <laughs> uh, and, and we had that conference. And I remember you conference? did Midland cupcakes. cupcakes. Hey? Yeah. And I, right. I, I remember right. I was uh, walking around and there was cupcakes, midwinter cupcakes. And yeah. I was, I was and like, no one even threw any at Chris Bates no, when he did his true. presentation. I, I wanted to. No <laughs> it was like, it was I like, oh, yeah, that was like, no one had ever seen that before. Okay. I think it was like, yeah, yeah look, was massive bad. respect. Massive yeah. respect. Yeah. So, yeah, so that was the early, 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 early days. The modern um, advisor event. Yeah, the modern yeah. advisor. That was it. The modern shout advisor. out to Andy Marshall. Yeah, oh, that man. was so, oh man, super duper mochaccino. The best Maybe moderation got I've seen anywhere. And that, he, was, yeah, he was, that was amazing. He was, was fantastic, was so and that that event was human. such a success. Absolutely. And and I and you know really I think springboarded you guys from there. Yeah. Um, and and yeah, like the just the the foresight in the early days. Um, uh, that like we could tell at that event like this is going to be something pretty cool. I think it's just yeah. that it was that the content can and this is we were just sitting in, in a room before that going like let's just cut out all the bullshit, um, give people like content that they care about from other practitioners. And you look at that event; it was the Chris Bateses and the like. They were all advisors. It was people we knew it's mostly. Advisors, we, yeah. you know, short presentations. Let's hear yeah. from practitioners. Yeah, that's what everyone cares about. Oh, like, the Nagalis. That was great. No. Yeah, Mark yeah. Well. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, mate, we had Dean Holmes dial in from the UK. Oh, yeah, that was the right. big thing. Yeah. That was yeah. the big yeah. event. I remember, awesome. I remember the event. Uh, Tootie, the event manager. Yes, she she said to us, "Look, you've got you've got Dean calling in from overseas, and look, the internet at." At um, Dalton House, like a Dalton House is is really, is really really yeah, good. Is, is really I'm good. Pretty sure the internet's um, free. So we're, we're, yeah, well, that's what she said. she said. It's all really good, and like usually it's not a problem. But you are going to have a lot of people there, 
and we kind of recommend you spend, I think it was about $600. We, we recommend you spend $600 to hardline the internet connection just to <laughs> make sure day. it doesn't drop out. <laughs> Mate, we had a meeting over it. It was <laughs> like, intense. Oh, shit. <laughs> Mate, t- my next business is going to be eight audio visuals. <laughs> yeah. Back then, we didn't have a bank account and everything went on my credit card. <laughs> we had finalized all the parts. I can yeah, remember, the tickets I can remember our stands as a sponsor were like these small round tables outside and that the banners just kept falling well, over. In the wind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and, and it, and it, but we it had good like, food and we got good photos of the food. It was yeah. fantastic. Yeah. More and that's what Which matters we've in never the used again. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Every single that's event, we all go, let's get photos yeah. and never The only good them. food photo is uh, Jess Brady's partner, Eddie, just stuffing his face at the last <laughs> ho- event yeah. at the hotel. Mate, it's, I think it's on the website. I think there's Matt, a photo oh, of him on the website grabbing the thing. Of course it is. It's on the front page That is the photo. It's on the front page twice. <laughs> it's it. That's yeah. my favourite photo it. on our website, yeah. The front Shout page is Eddie changing. Eddie. The front page is changing. Anyway. Oh. I think that photo is still there, though. Coming it's soon. Gonna We're going to be course. the Reddit of financial services. Oh, my God. The, the front page has changed. Awesome. The front page has changed. Do you, do you read it, Nate? I do read it. Yeah. What's your username? Don't I'm tell me. Nah, they're throwaways. <laughs> I, can throw tell you, I can tell you what my favourite thread is. In Go is on. Go on. Um, no, this is going to show you an insight into perhaps how um, – Slightly pathetic. <laughs> my my cat gifts. Um, no, uh, there's an anti MLM thread, <laughs> and oh, it is hilarious. I know this. I so know if this you one. find pyramid schemes funny or, <laughs> or evil, <laughs> or if you're just having a bad day, like if I'm having a bad day, I'm like God. I'm gonna I go to this thread, and it's just memes and people complaining yeah. and whinging about their friends that have tried to make them join Great. a multi-level oh, marketing. Oh, I like selling a couple of containers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and or it is, it is like. so good. It is the ultimate in Reddit entertainment. I, I, I actually <laughs> recommend it to anyone who's yeah who's having a bad day and they L- just want to L- have L- a laugh. LMM. L- uh, yeah, it's anti <laughs> anti MLM. Don't, yeah. don't, don't, don't worry about these internet nerds. Oh, if, if, if you're into that, <laughs> what's Reddit? Sh- <laughs> sh- <laughs> I can't figure Reddit out. I got this client at the moment. Mate, there's not much got to figure four, out. She did this forum. post and got four thousand likes because she's got some issue with the name, and then she, apparently that's a big deal because her, <laughs> her 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 partner is um that's he's a, big a computer deal. dude. Like he's like a developer. Thing and he works for this a developer thing. thing. <laughs> I do. I do so, know about so, those developers. He's things. the computer guy, and she's on the Reddit, and she's got four thousand. She's, she's a crap. Anyway. She's gone viral. Shout shout That's out, amazing. Shout out to you, legend. Um, <laughs> is it Schoiden Freuger? Shout and Frauden. Shout and Frauden. Where you would get enjoyment from other people's, you know, temporary, uh, yeah, yeah, temporary, yeah, temporary yeah, misery. True. I think Shout and Frauden has a thing about it, though, that you have to. Have, Why does it have uh, to be German? It's like a hindsight thing. Like the person that you're Shout and Frauden about. It has done something to you. Shadow frowning? Uh, so so you're getting back at them by well, enjoying no, when their When something misery. bad happens to them, you don't mind as much because they, oh, they've so burnt you. I thought it was just simply uh, a, the I could be wrong. enjoyment I could be wrong. I could from be wrong. other people's misery, no, I th- which, I, which is the yeah. anti-MLM because yeah. my my favourite one yeah. on, on Reddit, public freakout. <laughs> So, There's also idiot d- idiots getting hurt. Oh yes, idiots getting <laughs> if you're into if absolutely. you're into you know, enjoying. I'm I'm so well, that makes some advice. Excellent <laughs> advice, right? We couldn't do this. So, bloody uh, so this is going to get cut. We'll, 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 we'll make the next one. Is it Reddit thread or something? Yeah. So in other, yeah, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. the next iteration we're announcing now. That X Y. So anyway, that we're opening up a subreddit called X Y Advisor Anti MLM. All right, enough Reddit. This so is like when um, Bitcoin used to be like conference coming up in every single like yeah, podcast yeah. episode. Oh yeah, I remember that week. That week, that was like <laughs> three months. I what missed what we about? were talking about. Uh, Bitcoin. Oh yeah, do, you, do we want to talk about Bitcoin? No. <laughs> Why not? No. Uh, I, it's, sorry, it's, I, 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 really, I really want to it's retract internet that. Internet. Say the word. And money. Well, we, we don't have to talk about Bitcoin, but we, what we could talk about, which is related to financial advice, is that although uh, whether you agree on, on investing in Bitcoin or not, it uh, quickly, very, very quickly found a, a, a way to engage everyday Australians. It's and then it just disappeared equally as quickly. Uh, I, I'm not sure that it has actually. No. No, well, no. it sort of has though, because oh. it's like that, that, at that time. Like I remember when we had. Um, Do you know how much it's made in the last twelve months? When we had, yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. When we had, <laughs> when we had, but when <laughs> even after the crash, yeah, but even what after I'm, the crash. yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is that w- when we had like Fred on from Finder, and then it was like that time was like peak Bitcoinness. It yes. just everybody, and I was like, 
like I had a ton of, I don't have heaps of clients, but I, I reckon like upwards of a third of my client base was asking me about Bitcoin. Exactly. And then what were you saying? I was saying, don't do it. Don't do it. It's bad. Don't do it. Too many people are like on the bandwagon now. You're talking about it at the top. Clearly it's done some crazy stuff. Um, it's inconsistent. You don't need to as well. Cause I think like with people with money, it's like, if you can get to a point that you're happy with, um, like ten without dollars. taking crazy risk, it's yeah. Like, let's let's just let's get you there with the lowest level of risk possible. Agreed. Yeah, um, definitely. So, but people forget that, and then like they, and then but then after the the crash, it was like it just disappeared. Like people just stopped talking about it. You know, like it's um, it was it's it's funny except how quickly, except for um, one of our podcast hosts, he he liked to talk about it a lot. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's internet money, so you don't need to like lose your you lose the house over it. I'd never recommend putting I any, any I, I put one percent of your money in. Uh, and, and also, you know, uh, think less about Bitcoin General and perhaps think a, a lot more <laughs> about about the blockchain. Uh, so the technology yeah, that the Bitcoin's yeah, built yeah. on, which 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 does have longevity. Yeah. Um, but but you it's know, free, right? Yeah. The most interesting part about Bitcoin, and I think is, is a really good lesson for financial advice, is that we're constantly learning or constantly wanting to learn how to engage more everyday Australians uh, with their money. And, uh, and you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, whatever, it, all crypto. Jesus coin. You forgot Jesus coin. Oh, sorry. What's Jesus um, coin? They, oh, man. Uh, so so a couple like of my, a couple of my clients are like, they insisted on buying the Bitcoin. They've, they've, um, on the Bitcoin. I love it. They've, they've both <laughs> lost money. They've, they're, yeah, maybe there's three of them. They've all lost money. But anyway, so I, so I got but this. I found got this. I found this site to look at, look at the, um, the cryptocurrencies on the line. And then it was like, you could just, words. you could just, you could just filter the, you could filter the things by like, by a range of different factors, the market cap, the performance, etc. So I just, every time when I was having a call, cause we were doing the monthly calls with the clients and stuff. So every time before I was doing the call, I just go on and look at how much money they'd lost, and um, I'd, but I'd always look at also at the um, at the like which were the best performing, and I was like, the Jesus coin was was one of the ones. It was so funny. It was like it went the market cap was ridiculous. Like it just went it went from being worth like a million dollars to be being worth like like fifteen million dollars in a day, and then it was like yeah, Jesus coin. So anyone just. Um, my so I'll take my advice there. And undisclaimed financial advice is put do not invest in Jesus coin. Jesus coin. <laughs> I mean, it will not rise. <laughs> it will not rise from the dead. How, however, I think <laughs> j- just looping back, um, cri- cryptocurrency. Uh, the reason it became so attractive is that it made everyday people um, feel like they had access to invest. Um, where I think a lot of um, financial services, without meaning to, sometimes locks a lot of everyday Australians out uh, with weird terminology or with um, feeling like they're not wealthy enough to invest. And then along came cryptocurrency, which allowed people to invest $20 if they wanted to uh, with technology that supported them on their phone um, to be able to go, oh, here, there's $10, almost uh, as if they were and if, at, at an amount that uh, is neg- negligible. So if they if they lost it, it doesn't matter. Um, but it gave them an opportunity to dip their toes in the water in something else that they would have otherwise been too scared to delve into. Um, so the, the Funny the that people are scared to invest in like, oh, let's buy like – some like shares in like some blue chip shares. Oh no, I'm too scared. I'm like, Jesus well, coin. It's, I don't think it's that they're scared <laughs> of the risk. I think they're scared that they don't have enough knowledge, um, yeah, and, and, they should, and they don't, and they don't, and they don't, and they don't, and they don't have the access. Well, let's face it. Most people, the money, a share in BHP equals Jesus coin. Well, that's because they have no idea of both, that's and it. one has a chance of going up a. Would you say fifteen thousand percent in a day, and one has the chance of doing six percent in a year? Oh. Boring. So, so, so if they're both the same to me, yeah, right. Yeah, like good who, point. which one am I going to do? They're both. Yeah. They're both unknown quantities. They're both. Um, they're, I. I yeah. what, what is a share? And, and it's all uh, cryptocurrency allows people to micro invest as well. So you know, a yeah. lot of people avoid sharing. No brokerage, yeah, right? That's it. Yeah. A lot of I people think... avoid investing in shares because they just don't think they're wealthy enough to do it. Um, when cryptocurrency came along, they said, "You got ten bucks, we'll take it." Like, so uh, before that, there's no one going, knock, 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 I want to get uh, $10 worth of 
this. Uh, it's, it was acorns. A, it, acorns. Yeah. Acorns, yes, but even so, uh, Acorns is sort of a rounding, yeah, it's a different kind of methodology. It was an uh, engagement tool. Yeah, look, yeah, that's it. So, yeah. you know, uh, where, where cryptocurrency was positive is people started to go, oh, maybe maybe I could just have a go at this, pain-free. I've never done it before. I have no idea what it is. But risk-free, frictionless technology. Absolutely. And no middleman. Yeah. Decentralised. Um, you know, I'm not saying it's a positive investment, but I'm saying in terms of engaging people with their finances, God, they did something like right that. General advice, Naomi. Uh, this is no advice. This is a, just a comment on no license from from a marketing ah, manager, from a go. branding manager. Yeah. Uh, you know, advisors tell me how, 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 how can I communicate? This is knowledge. empirical evidence from the advice yeah. community. Well, I mean, Nate, how, how many people do you? How many advisors do you speak to on a monthly basis? Uh, countless, like yeah. on a daily basis, countless. Yeah, I'm, I'm right. talking to advisors all day long. Yeah. Um, uh, not that all day, I, every day. All day, every day. Um, um fitted person. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what that was, but fantastic. Um, but yeah, you know, so many advisors say to me, "I need, I, I, I need to find the way that I can show my value in a way that engages everyday Australians." Um, most Australians don't. Uh, you know, I think a lot of Australians don't take up financial advice because they feel like they don't, they're not good at, they don't have the knowledge or totally. the wealth to do it. Yeah, yeah, Whereas yeah. cryptocurrency came to the people and said, hey. It's like a class, a cl- almost yeah. a, a class separation thing where uh, people that were investing in crypto didn't think of themselves as rich and wealthy to yeah. have a wealth manager. Yeah. They it. were the 80%. That's it. And, 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 yeah. and the lesson we, the, the awesome lesson from that is, yeah, crypto may not be the most stable investment, but advice. think? <laughs> I, I'm not going to comment on that. That's not my. That's not my role. Um, but but <laughs> but uh, but advisors have this awesome opportunity to engage with the public um, and uh, engage clients at at that level and just say, so hey, it's a bad hey, idea. it doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't. Then, you don't need bags of money. Like yeah. Fox and Hare, they do it so great. Like I don't know if anyone's seen their marketing. You don't need bags of money to have a financial advisor. Yeah. You don't need all the that's knowledge the in the world. It, it's kind of interesting, you know? right? Like. Crypto (laughs) can make people a lot of money, not not through the investment of crypto, but through the curiosity that crypto has created. Right, so it's it's engaging the engagement. It's kind of it's yeah. I'm not not, yeah. I'm not talking about the investment. I'm talking about the engagement. Redirecting slightly um, away from bloody cryptocurrency. So clearly, engagement is important. What what do you think? Like. where do you think that's going, Naomi? Uh, for financial advice? Yeah. Uh, client, uh, client engagement? Yeah. Well, question. yeah, really good question. Um, in a, I hate to say it because it's probably a bit overplayed now, but in a digital world. Um, You're talking about digital advice, Naomi? Customer value Naomi? proposition. Or customer value proposition. Is. I'm not even going to talk about digital advice. I mean, digital advice is one thing, but for financial advisors that are offering a full service, um, uh, clients want to experience your value in a non-threatening way uh, to begin with. And uh, if you look at every other industry uh, pretty much now, um, everyone else is hanging out where their clients are hanging out, which is online, on their smartphones. On the internet. Yes. Yeah, on the, on the internet. So uh, for you to get the first layer of trust, it's at least be where your clients are hanging out, which is – and look, advisors are already doing that, so this is not rocket science. Um, and, and just um, making – uh, finance. Uh, you know, people tend to sweep their finances to one side of of their life, and I think uh, if you engage using language and um, instead of concentrating on the services, concentrate on the outcomes uh, that you bring people. Which is, uh, you know, everyone knows. Well, not everyone, but our industry knows. Um, you know, people with a financial advisor uh, end up with better financial outcomes, but and in the end, end up with happier lives, really, because they. Advice is never about how much money I'm going to get. It's about hey, I want to pay for my college education for my kids. Hey, I want to pay off my house. I want to buy university. A university. I want to buy a boat, mm. or I want to. It's about dreams. It's about goals. It's about happiness. Um, and if we concentrate more on the outcomes rather than the services, I think would engage the public a lot more. Which is which is. Well, I, I actually once said I think there's a video. Actually, it was with Phil Thompson. It's down in Melbourne. He said, "Come do a video," and I I said um, that. 
I actually, without client engagement, you? Well, I talked about the benefits of financial advice for people's health, and I might have mentioned yeah. that it's helpful for preventing gallstones. Um, <laughs> well, I think, you know, it's helpful for <laughs> it anxiety. But really. I'm a best. <laughs> I think it's true. I was reading a, a thing um, today. Lee Shadell commented wow. on something on the, on the thing. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I'm just going to leave that on. Gallstones. Um, but is that like, in your service proposition? <laughs> I promise to reduce your gallstones. $50 a month. Past <laughs> performance does not predict future performance. <laughs> uh, <laughs> may end up with extra gallstones. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Disclaimed. I was never here. Please uh, seek, seek advice from a gallstone professional. We've never seen. <laughs> I've got so much. But seriously, it's the, the money is the leading cause of stress in Australia, right? So... Mm. Um, you know, in particular for young people. So I think you're yeah. absolutely right. Yeah. What do you think, Ray J? Yeah, Engagement. Ray's, I mean, you guys are, Ray's you doing guys awesome yeah. stuff with money Basically happiness. Basically like, bending people's yeah. Will Ray just tonight? end up being uh, the top advisor of the year, the young advisor of the year or advisor hey, of the year? Man. I think advisor, well, of, advisor of the year. Advisor of the year for the young finance award. Yeah. Advisor right. of the year with the advisor with best haircut of the year, I think. Yeah, hands down. My barber was thrilled. Thing, <laughs> thing, things have improved since you stopped shaving the first centimetre of no, your... No, you're still doing uh, that. Yeah. You're still doing that. No, I'm not, I'm just, no oh, it's just right. That's just natural now. Yeah. <laughs> You've made it. you made it permanent. It's caught up to the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah. a laser. It was laser, was it? No, no, no. It was oh, a barber. He, oh, it's he was just kind not of growing like trimming back. my hairline and it became a oh, thing. Oh, yeah, at the front he of just, the He head. just went oh, a bit yeah, further and a bit further yeah. and a bit further. And before I knew it, I had half my head shaved. Anyway. It, it was excellent. Um, but no, no, no. Anyways, so I've, I've been doing a lot of best area research in into, into – So there, there's a few happiness index and we're not good at tracking happiness as an index because it's it's really hard to quantify what, what that is. But there's a – and what, what, I, what I'm especially fascinated in is – the impact of the global financial crisis relative to these different happiness indexes and indices. it's in, 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 in indices. Indices, yeah. Thank you. Um, and it, I want, I want there to be a, a clear link between the global financial crisis and that. And there are a lot of different indices that show that, uh, but it is, it is still going a up bit or down, 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 down. And there are a couple of that that refute those those arguments, but. Um, I, I, I think it's clear that if you're, if you're, you know, typical working family, you know, bills, bills getting paid and doing all the daily things that you want, that's okay. But if, if there is a, a financial impact in your life, you're not like, it's that, that, that is a big impact on your, on your happiness, mm. you know? I've uh, seen Michael Norton at, I saw him at this AMP there. Um, what was that future of innovation event or something? Mm. Best event I've ever been to, I think. Like, or the, the, amp, the modern event, advisor, of Amplify. Course. Amplify, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. This guy, Michael Norton, though, and I've read his book since then. Unbelievable. Just all his, his, um, really, I'm not going to talk about the other topic that he talks about. He's got two very distinct topics that he researches. Uh, but one of them is all about happiness with money. Um, and it's all about like what what actually makes you happy when it comes to money. And he basically found it, and it's um, very fun your ideal lifestyle. But basically, buying time is one thing. Oh, um, having ex- uh, experiences is ah. the other thing, like travel and stuff, and um, keeping more of your money, keeping more of what you work for. Yeah. I'd like to say that, <laughs> but it's not that. Damn it! There's a course. Yeah, it's a- not thing. It's not things because it's yeah. like you no, buy well, he, you buy a, a bigger I'll, house, I'll, but you have to move further away, and then you have to travel more, so then you're less happy. So it's like, what yeah. actually I'll, makes? I'll do. I'll do this book, with you, book. If you if you found twenty bucks and had to spend it on something that would make you happy, oh, giving. That's a third one. What? Sorry, that's a third one. giving to other people. What would makes you feel good? What would you spend your twenty bucks on? You. Because oh, yeah. he, oh, he no, might I'm give it a sale on six packs across the room. <laughs> oh, sorry, no. sorry. No. What, what would you spend your twenty bucks on? Well, I don't know, man. Doesn't nothing. doesn't go far in Sydney these days. Yeah. <laughs> one month of Netflix and stand. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but one Netflix. That's like a whole month. month of never ending entertainment. Come on, guys. <laughs> Except for when it ends. <laughs> yeah. And then and then yeah. and then the thing is, you you look at the last. Twenty dollars you spent, and think about yeah. how that twenty dollars reflects on your on your value statement yeah. on, on your on your values, right? And 
It's a, a bit tricky. You bought me beers. <laughs> I probably five pound twenty bucks. I'd probably five people. <laughs> to be honest, when 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 <laughs> you're I, an anomaly, you're an anomaly. Yeah, yeah. Twenty dollars on beers every day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so beers, my so, wife, and maybe some food. So Ray, right, was that is that a bit of your? Because you're still studying the psychology until Saturday. <laughs> until tomorrow. Tomorrow's the last oh, day. Congratulations. Are you serious? Yeah, oh, thank you. Cheers to that. Oh, he's a. I don't actually have a drink. Wait a second. I'm, Fascia? I'm psychology. No, not, no, and this is a huge thing. It really grinds my gears. Thank you, Peter Griffin. Uh, <laughs> how psychology and managing people's emotions is not at the, the center of Fazia's discussions is beyond I me. heard that's what they're doing, though, because it's funny because Hakesy at the AFA, before he moved on, he was like, oh, Fazia, they're doing – they're doing this thing. It's like, um, you know, they, we're going to reshape the thing and we're going to like, they're going to change it. It's revolutionized. And then they did this big survey through Beddoes. I participated in the survey. There was like 10 rounds. It was annoying. Let me tell you. Like, there was a <laughs> lot of questions. I'm, and I'm like, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna do my bit, you know. Like, they asked me. I said, I heard about it. I was like, I want to be in. I'm going to do the thing. Mm. And then they come out and they're like, oh, hey. Yeah. Here's the next thing. That's it's it's similar, Your course isn't similar included, to the ben. previous thing. Oh, but ben, it's you know like those ten courses you did. Thing. They didn't make the cut. It's <laughs> like, it's like investment trends, ten times in a row. The no, opportunity no is beyond. <laughs> oh, but the point, the point, I guess, is being made is that Ben's got ten degrees. None of them are. On, um, and another here. point and is, nothing. and Ray's just done a new one Adrian, that's pretty applicable. Adrian, congratulations, Ray. Thank you very much. Mm, thank you very much. Well I appreciate done. it. That's that's well done. As, as a daughter of a psychologist, <laughs> I'm tired. Oh, I've heard, oh that actually <laughs> makes some sense. I, I know exactly what <laughs> Well, that's fantastic, Ray. Well done, man. Yeah, thank you. It's uh, it's it's awesome, you know. I've I've been an imposter in the the psychology world for the best part of five years. Um, they're trying to work work me out, you know. But uh, as soon as I talk through why I'm there, it's it's it, it all makes a lot of sense. So I just need a lot more of people to go through that journey. But the problem is, it's not fair nor appropriate to expect people to invest time in something that's so left field because I I, I am an imposter in that world at the moment, but aphasia is an opportunity to really mandate something like that you know it, it really really be honest about where value is and decide how to how to educate people around that stuff i think that's why we're all passionate about education there's a real mismatch be- between you know what we're required to do and what people are you know kind of ticking boxes frankly versus what you do to genuinely and i mean genuinely add value and how you how you skill up for that like the gap is the opportunity is is, is huge well, it's always been in the client interaction like, that's just i think that's what the only value yeah well like, going back to engagement advisors are uh engagement personified so 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 you get someone who walks into your office and they say i like you and you say you like them and they say okay i'll pay you money and you say all righto well now because we get along and you've agreed enough to pay me money now you're going to do what i say and and li- that is the contract. Yeah. And that 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 contract only exists because of engagement between mm, one mm, person mm. and another. And that and that's why they say you you work with people that you like because yeah because you, that person there knows or can easily find the information and the instructions yeah that you going to tell them. If you want to build a house, you can. Like that's that's a lot dif- more difficult. If you wanted to Google how to build a house, it's going to take you a lot longer. If you wanted to Google how to get financial advice, it's going to take much shorter time. It's all to, money spot, yeah. to skill up from from knowing nothing about it. But the thing is, money is so emotional yeah. that the right decision is right there in front of you, and you don't make it. Well, eighty percent of basically eighty eighty percent of people don't think about money rationally. And so 80% of people cannot make the decision that they should make, but, but, but they don't simply because it's too hard. And then they say, okay, for, for the lucky percentage of those that end up with an advisor, they pay the money and then they say, okay, you tell me what to do. I like you and I'll just do what you say. And I had amazing clients that were like that. Mm. Who could who who was smarter than me, more capable than me? That's most people, to be fair. To be fair, <laughs> to be fair, my cat was. Um, and 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 never had a cat. 
And <laughs> you've got two oh, now. Oh, oh, my cat? Yes. Oh, yeah. No, they're and they're smarter both than smarter than you, so. Uh... <laughs> That's pretty smart. Anyway. But anyway, yeah. the, the point is um, – uh, we become the personification of engagement. Yeah. I think, no, I, I'd challenge that though because I think like I refuse to let my clients say that, oh, I trust you, I'll do what you say. Like, Why? No, uh, in the, in that they need to own their own decisions. Yeah, they've got to be yeah. – because I think – and what I was going to say to you be- before you said that is like I think the most important thing that advisors deliver is confidence and I really like – yeah, like you could buy property – you could buy shares, you could gear and buy shares, you could contribute to your super. At the end of the day, they're all pretty good decisions. Like yeah. some of the, like I look, I and I'm not trying to take away from it in any way, but like obviously there's ways to drive tax efficiencies, end up with more money, you do things that are better. Some things are better than other things, but taking action is the most powerful thing with money, and that's what most people without an advisor don't do. So if you end up with an advisor, you got someone in your corner, they're going to push you to take some action. The, you're going to end up doing something that's decent. You're going to end up making money. But the ultimately, I think that the most important thing is that you give people the confidence that they can take the action. Like, I, and I think that that's where, like, we talk about the what you were talking about before, the psychology, mm. the um, you know, the like emotional intelligence. Sorry, Clay. Um, where like you know, you need to be able to coach people into even when things are a problem. You need to let them know that it's not a problem, so that they're confident. But that's just... what they trust. That's the thing yeah. they trust is that you, it. you, even if you see yourself as a facilitator, and I totally agree with you. I, I, I don't create people's financial journeys. I help them understand and create find let the the finance that so that they're, they're making really well informed decisions about what their options are. Mm-hmm. But they still have to trust that I'm telling them the stuff that's important is important and the stuff that's not important is not important. That you're coming from a place of knowledge. Focus, so it's a bit focus of both. knowledge. I think that's the that's that's the other thing that I've realized recently is that because there's so there's so much here. <laughs> Stop doing that Clay. <laughs> there's so much information out there, right? That anyone can Google anything that we do, any information that we tell someone, they can Google, right? But the key, I think, the key to success, like from a from a from any sort of coaching perspective, whether it's financial advice, mm. business coaching, whatever, it's um, it's it's focused knowledge. So like you know, they have to tell you the thing that you need to know right now, yeah. and then the thing that you need to do next. Herm- Herman a lot of information. Oh, Jesus. Have you heard of a, there's a guy called Herman Brody who was at the Portfolio Construction Forum and he has this thing called the Trust Perfect. Mandate. It's mm. a it's a book, mate. Listen, he did a recent podcast with a guy named Andy Hart. He's a he he kind of fosters a similar community to XY but in the UK. Mm. All around behavioral advice. Herman Brody is is the 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 pod. It's fantastic and there's kind of an axis and and you've got trust and uh, competency. It's like typically financial advisors will sell their competency and they'll be the best technicians. And But, you know, in order to, to – before you can even get to that point with somebody, they need to be able to trust you. Oh, yeah, so, sure. So there is – I mean, and, and I think talking to it's Clay's point – kind of what they're both talking kind about. Kind of, yeah. But I think the Not trust really. thing has to come first, right? That's because wrong. you don't even get a chance to, to show your competency unless they trust totally. that – that you will you will focus them to, to learn what's important. You can fish for people. This is what, and this is why like I'm being a bit facetious. But you can fish for people, or you can teach them to fish. And I think our job is to really to you teach them to no, fish. No financial and then you go, literacy. Well, fuck I, I'm, it. I want I'm with the, you on that. I want. I still want you to catch my fish. Well, that's cool. All right, I'll well, fish ben, for you. But it does but start. It starts from what Clay's talking. No, about. yeah, agreed. Does agreed. it though? Well, it does. Like they're gonna. They're only gonna engage with you if they actually. They try, like, what of course. About no, oh, yeah, me. no, I agree. But, I agree with that part. Going That's on good. from what Clay says is what you do after it. And, like, it is easy to not go where you're talking about, man, and get a bit more sort of um, yeah. empowering. You can you can just – people well, are happy know. to be told where what I, to I do. I think where I'm going is empowering. Yeah, people are happy to be told what to do. So like that's that the thing when Clay said that you said the things that are opposite to well, the conversation. Well, Nate, as the 100th podcast – uh, and I think to to wrap up, to wrap up, where do you see advice going, or where did you see the financial services going in the in the next twelve months? We've got a we've got we've got a bunch of royal commissions. Three years? A, Can we go three years? Well, well, there's a lot there's a Can lot ahead of us, right? So 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 as someone that's super in the industry, but they're not an advisor, where do you where do you see it? I think um, we probably will do a, all of us do a little bit of work on um, rebuilding the brand, 
uh, in general. Um, collect- not midwinter, though. That's already pretty well filled. Oh, I, I'm not talking about individual. I mean, collectively re- rebuilding the brand of financial advice post-Royal Commission. Um, and that's not to say that anyone is personally culpable. It's just uh, from a consumer level, uh, they, they, they're not watching the full day-to-day of everything that's going on. All they see is perhaps the bank did this or... Do you reckon 12 months from now, sorry to interrupt, but I like interrupting, but um, do you reckon 12 months from now, more or less people will have financial advices? Ooh, tough question. question. I like it. Um, Because unlike, well, like Bitcoin, it creates curiosity, right? That's it. People start to think, oh, geez, what's going on with my finances? Well, yeah. No, I mean, a personal opinion is that, uh, and and actually it's great because it comes off the back of this one, is we'll do a bit uh, as a community to rebuild the brand. Um of financial advice and what happens from that is that a lot of the old ways of thinking about financial advice uh, will will start to disappear um, and that's something that was already happening pre post pre royal commission and all of that stuff uh, especially with this group um, so as the new generation of financial advice comes into play and um, the everyday Australian starts to see a financial advisor less as a, a uh, investment manager or uh, just a product flogger um, but sees them more as a financial coach, I actually think that the amount of people receiving financial advice will go up, um, but the type of advice will be perhaps different to the past. You're not going to be purely um, insurance and transition to retirement. You, you're going to see a lot of people getting cash flow advice and um, and and uh, going back to what Ray was saying and what I was saying before, getting uh, financial advice in order to uh, alleviate financial anxiety, um, which I think is a positive thing. I think I don't think people are anti uh, post royal commission. Uh, you know, I don't think people are anti advice. They might be a little bit cynical towards certain uh, aspects of whatever they hear in the media. But uh, if financial advisors are able to show people that they can alleviate financial anxiety, I actually think the amount of advice being given will be um, larger than what it has been in the past. However, I'm not going to say it's going to happen in 12 months. It might take longer. Um, but I think the future is TAB is saying it's going down. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a funny Legit? thing because I think it's clearly – Oh no! He's just found. <laughs> I, I just think that the, what what it means what it means to provide financial advice is going to change, um, and for the better. I mm-hmm. think it's definitely it's, it's definitely, already started to you know somewhere between one and ten steps backwards, but hopefully that means between somewhere between one and a hundred steps forward. Yeah. Um, after, afterwards, yeah. yeah. More than ben, you're a poet. Steps. A scholar and a gentleman. Stop Fantastic talking, way to uh, wrap up the hundredth podcast. Nay, thank you extremely thank you for much having me, guys. for coming much on. Love. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Peace, guys. Peace out.